Hello, I'm Ross, and today I'm going to introduce you to PSOC Creator. I am just going to walk you through a few of the elements of Creator that will help you get familiar with the design environment for PSOC. PSOC Creator first loads a start page with references to previous projects, example projects and tutorials, and links to useful documentation on the Cypress website, such as application notes. In addition to the start page, there is a large set of information available from the help menu with references to data sheets and numerous guides. Guides to help explain the entire PSOC Creator toolset. There is also the quick start guide, which is a walkthrough of PSOC Creator. In addition to following along with this video, the quick start guide is an excellent place to start learning Creator. It walks you through the steps from creating a project all the way through to programming your device. I'm going to start by creating a new project. Creator is a schematic-based design entry tool, and it starts a new project with a blank sheet to draw your schematic. The Workspace Explorer on the left shows the structure of the project and contains references to the worksheet as well as the code. The component catalog on the right contains a large set of predefined components available for use. Some examples of these components include ADCs, DAX, PWMs, timers, and even general logic. I'm going to start my project by placing a PWM on my schematic and orient it in the way that I want it to appear. Configuring the component is accomplished with the right click. Detailed information is readily available about the component including a description, information about inputs and outputs, details about the APIs, and even electrical specifications. I'm going to continue placing my components and then wire my design together. Notice that copy and paste can be used in addition to component drag and drop. Wiring my design is accomplished with the wire tool on the toolbar. Or you can use the W key as a shortcut.
I now need to set up my design-wide resources, such as associating pins to physical pins on the package. My application is now ready to be generated. This process will synthesize the hardware and generate the appropriate APIs and other design-wide libraries. Notice the additional files generated. These contain the APIs and other library functions. Now we need to write some code. And then build it. Build is accomplished from the Build menu. My project is built and ready to be programmed. With my demonstration board already connected to my computer, I just need to program it from the debug menu. Thank you for joining me in this very brief walkthrough of PSAC Creator. For more information, you can go to www.cypress.com.